Maybe we can get rid of the heat right now, at least. This is going to be neutral. Oh, yeah. Yo, we got three straight crits with, <laughs> with Lombardi on the first hit. That's two. I think we need five. Yeah, we need five. Come on, Lombardi. We just needed four. Let's go, Lombardi. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VG Sheet Double Battles. And today, we've got ourselves a Lombardi team. Shout out to Louis SLV for the suggestion. If you guys want me to showcase one of your favorite Pokemon or just any Pokemon you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and let me know what Pokemon or even gimmick you'd like me to build a team around. But as I mentioned, we've got a Bombardier here with Rocky Payload as its ability. And this ability gives it a 50% damage boost to its rock type moves. So to completely rip with this thing, we've given it Rock Blast, the Loaded Dice, the Rock Terra type, and Home Claws, which will give it a plus one in accuracy and attack. This is beneficial because Rock Blast is, isn't 100% accurate. I don't know what percent, it's like 90 or 95, but it isn't 100% accurate, so we can miss with it. So with one Home Claws, we'll guarantee we can land these um, Rock Blast and we'll be doing more damage. So with the combination of all these things, I'm hoping we can get some work done with Bombardier here. Now to add to this team, we've got Sandstream Tyranitar, which will give Terrasilize Bombardier a 50% defensive stat boost, making it slightly more tanking, meaning most times we're going to be looking to terror our Bombardier here. And then we added things that will help cover our weaknesses, such as Escadrill to deal with the Steel types. And then we've got Fluttermane with Energy Ball to cover for our major weakness to, to water. Almost everyone here is weak to water. <laughs> and finally, you got Illumice to give us some speed control and help hand some shots. Also, just to vary the Prankster user we use, don't want to just be using Tornadus or Whimsicott. You know, just spice things up a little bit. But guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and are enjoying the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. But now, let's get rolling with this Bombardier team and try to get some dubs. All right, we got Quincy. And Quincy's rocking three fire, four fire types and Storm Drain Gastrodon, which is fine because we don't have any, any water type moves and we have rock type moves. So this might look like to be pretty easy game, to be honest. Watch that come by <laughs> Bite me in the butt after. But we're definitely going to lead Bombardier here. I like it as a lead. And I think we have to lead Illumice. I think so, because they're probably going to lead off with Talonflame. Get their own Tailwind up. So I like Bombardier, Illumice, and then I'm going to bring Titar and Escadrill. Just to get that weather control. Yeah, let's lock those four in. They're probably going to bring in Torkoal. This is a Sun team. So they're probably going to need that Torkoal. So we'll just counteract that with our little Titar and Sandstream. But so, this, so far, this game looks like it's going to be a pretty fun one from Bombardier here. Yeah, there's Talonflame and Charizard. So... I can go for one of two things. I can go for a Home Claws. Terrasilize Home Claws, or I can go for just straight Rock Blast. I'm pretty sure this Charizard is faster than me. Yeah, definitely faster than me. One of them might Terrasilize even, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna protect, and I'm gonna Tailwind. Let's just take it nice and easy for first turn. Let's not get too aggressive. He's just going to protect himself. Beautiful. So we do get to see that the Charizard is indeed faster than our Bombardier. And it's just going to be Tailwind for Tailwind. Perfect. But now... I can Encore. And you can't. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terrasilize here. Should I bother going for a Home Claws here? Maybe just one. I think I like the idea of one home claws. And I'm just going to encore the Charizard. If I had to guess, Talonflame is going to go after my Illumice. But they're going to Terrasilize Charizard here. Just straight fire. That's fine. <laughs> You're getting encored into Protect, buddy. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Take that encore, buddy. Keep protecting. And what's the talent thing going for here? 
we outspeed the Terran Flame, which makes me think it's going for a Flare Blitz into the Elamice. Correct? It's going for a Sunny Day. It's perfect. That's perfect. So I can do one of two things. I can... Well, Charizard's going to protect this turn, so it's going to land the Protect. So I might as well just Rock Blast into the Tan Flame slot, and then... Just get Infestation off onto the Charizard slot. Because I feel like they'll probably swap it out. Correct? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm going to withdraw the Charizard there. And let me tell you. Bombardier doesn't need a helping hand here. It's going to be a Torkoal. Okay. So now this is the turn for me to swap out my Illumice next turn. And bring in my T-Tar. Get Weather Control. Hey, things are looking solid here. So we're going to get the Rock Terror on Bombardier now. Give this thing an extra boost to its Rock Blast. Here comes the Rock Blast onto the Town Flame. I think one should be enough, right? Oh my goodness, Bombardier. Bye-bye, <laughs> Talonflame. Oh, this is lovely. They're probably just going to quit. There's nothing they can do here. You guys want to see a Torkoal get deleted? I got you right now. And honestly, this Charizard might even click... Solar Beam. It probably even has Solar Beam, to be honest. Yeah, you, you're, you lost already. Yeah, there's Charizard. So, I think I'm just going to Rock Blast into the Torkoal here. And then swap into my T-Tar. Just get rid of that sun. Get rid of the extra damage they can have. Just in case the Torque will protect or something. But I don't think he's going to protect this turn. He's seen Encore on my Illumai, so he should be scared of the protect. And yeah, there's the Heat Wave. We should be able to soak. Yeah, we both soak easily. Comfortable. We get a burn on the T-Tar. Kind of annoying. That doesn't matter. That's Life Orb, too. And here comes another Rock Blast from the Bombardier. How much are we doing, Bombardier? There's one. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be a two-hit knockout. Oh, no, three. Three-hit knockout from the Bombardier. Holy. Bombardier is cooking out here against these fire types. And who's your last Mon? Charizard outspeeds us. My Tailwind is out. Their Tailwind is out. This would have been nice to have Velomice in here now. It's going to be Infernape. Infernape could have Mock Punch. Could have Mock Punch. But I do have a... Defensive boost here. I'm just going to rip a Rock Blast into the Infernape. And... In a rock slide. I don't really see what else this Charizard can do. Alright, he's gonna fake out my Bombardier, which is kind of annoying. Dragon Pulse into T-Tar. That's not doing much, buddy. I am Assault Vested. Rock Slide's gonna miss on the Infernape. That's fine. Charizard. Gonna survive. But one more is going to get rid of that thing. And then I'm hoping Rock Blast gets rid of the Infernape. That's what we're going to go for here. I want to see Rock Blast get rid of this Infernape. And we're just going to knock off the Charizard. Come on, Mumbird here. Survive whatever these two got. Hit that Rock Blast. Oh yeah, we're surviving a Heat Wave, 100%. This thing probably has Drain Punch. Oh, we get burned, man. Why are you burning my Bombardier? And we outspeed the Infernape. Bombardier with Rock Blast. How much are you going to do? You're burned. Eh. 
If you hit five times, I think we got it. Nah, 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 we don't. We don't got it. Oh, that burn is so lucky. One more? Yeah, I got all five. That's some damage, though. That's burnt. Imagine if I wasn't burnt. <laughs> it would have been gone. But my poor Bombardier goes down. Bombardier, you did some fantastic work already. And now we just come with Escadro and call it a GG's. Charge Heart goes down. Infernape's got three more Pokemon to go to. Good luck. I still have an Escadro. Buffett's going to chip up a little more. Burn is going to chip us up again. And now we come in with Escadro. We have the Sandstream boost. We're going to shoot up. Might as well go for an Earthquake. Eh. It's a little risky. If I miss this Rock Slide, we, we might lose. If we miss this Rock Slide, we might lose. Okay, we don't miss the Rock Slide. Rock Slide connects. Bye-bye, Infernape. That is a GG's. Bombardier. Picking up two KOs and some big damage on the Infernape while being burned. GG's. All right, we got Iggy. And Iggy's got Intimidate users, so... I might not leave Bombardier here. And he probably leads off the Lando. Probably Landorus and Iron Hands. Well, I can easily get speed control up here with Elomice. And I think I might just go instant to get an Intimidate off. And then in the back, let's go Fluttermane and Bombardier. I think so. Okie dokie might be a little bit of a headache. What do we have for it? Don't have much. I kind of like Escadrill here. Escadrill can do some big damage here with Earthquake and everything. I think I leave back my Fluttermane. Put the energy ball on the Fluttermane. No, let's go Fluttermane. That Urshifu is too much of a risk. This is why, honestly, Tornadus is better than um, Illumice. Because we can shoot up Sandstorm. Wait, does Illumice learn Sandstorm? Did I, did I, did I do an oopsie? Hey, let me find that out real quick. Oh, he let, oh, that's Defiant and Guard Dog? Oh, hell no. I'm about to get destroyed. I let, <laughs> I let Intimidate into double boost. Okay. Go Tailwind. And we're going to go... We're going to go fake out into... Into who? Let's just fake out the Okie Dogie. Oh, you, you messed up. I, I'm encoring you into that. So we faked out the... Correct one. Better not be Cover Cloak on that dude. Beautiful. So now you're going to be stuck onto the spiky shield. And I'm going to rip a Flare Blitz into you. Yes, he's going to go for Drain Punch. Should I Terrasilize here? I think I might Terrasilize. You know what? No, I'm not going to waste Terra yet. Actually, no. Screw it. I am. 
I don't think terrestrializing Mombertier is the call in this game, so I'm just gonna waste it here. He's gonna terrestrialize too. So Ogre Pond. He's gonna get that plus one in speed, I believe. Yeah, speed. But guess what I'm doing? Wait, I'm gonna terrestrialize first. <laughs> We're going to grass real quick. I'm gonna terrestrialize our Incineroar here. We gave him a Defiant and Guard Dog boost. That's insane. I completely forgot about that. But take that Encore. Keep spiky shielding, buddy. Hopefully you don't land a double spiky shield. Okay, good. You don't. Beautiful. So now we're gonna get Flare Blitz next. Here comes a big time Flare Blitz onto the Ogre Pond. And we get rid of it. Yeah, take that. Waste your Terra. Have your Defiant boost. Bye bye, Ogre Pond. Let's go. And then I'm assuming a Drain Punch into the Instant, right? I'm gonna take some recall damage. No, oh, Poison Drive into the Illumice. Okay. Now Lando's gonna come out here. Gonna go for the minus one. I think I infestation the okie dogie. And I kind of want a parting shot out. Hmm. And I think I will parting shot out. Yeah, let's parting shot out. All right, Sludge Bomb into Little Mice. We survive on five. We land our infestation. Wait, Sludge Bomb on, on Lando? This is the... This isn't the Genie Lando. Why are you running Sludge Bomb on this guy? What a weirdo. He might go Poison Jab here. Because to be honest, Fluttermane might not take too nicely. So I think I might just want to come in Bombardier here. Yeah, I don't want to take damage on Fluttermane yet. Let's go Bombardier. Yeah, there's a poison jab. Yeah, that would have ripped a lot of damage. He gets the poison off too. Kind of annoying. How much does it do? I think we could take one more. I think we could take one more. Hmm. We still have one more turn of Tailwind. Okay. I think I'm just going to Helping Hand a Rock Blast here. Doesn't really do much to Okie Dogie though. Just going to the Lando. I don't even know if we outspeed here. We should be able to, though. Yeah, we do. Nice. We land the Rock Blast. Are we gonna... That's gonna chip up. Oh, yeah. That's chipping up. One more? No, four. That that chipped up some good damage. It's gonna land the Sludge Bomb on the Illumice. Illumice is gonna go down. That's fine. And this thing's gonna go for a Drain Punch. Barely gonna get any HP back. So, unfortunately, this thing's going to get another plus one. Our Tailwind is up. Okay, this is still this is still not over yet. This still isn't over. But we do get a minus one on the Lando, but we give this thing a plus one again. I'm hoping we outspeed this Lando here, because if we don't, it's going to be very sad. I'm going to fake out the Ogie Dogie. 
Yeah, it did not choice. But that doesn't do much. Dazzling's gonna give her to the Lando and chip up some good damage on the Okie Doki. Beautiful. So one more Dazzling Gleam should be enough. And it's an Urshifu. But the Lando had the choice scarf, I believe. I'm pretty sure, because it outsped my Fluttermane. Has he wasted Terra yet? Yes, he did. He wasted it first turn. Okay, beautiful. Is Dazzling Gleam enough here? It should be. Come on, Fluttermane. Come on, Fluttermane. You pick up the KO on Okie Dokie. Beautiful. And that thing is Sash. This is looking like a GG's. I'm pretty sure we win this one. Yep, Surge Strikes into the Fluttermane. That's going to give her to the Fluttermane. But we got a knockoff for you, buddy. Very well done, Fluttermane. Then knock off into the Urshifu. Bye bye, Urshifu. That is a huge comeback. After a mistake first turn, giving them a plus two with Define and a plus one with Guard Dog, we came all the way back. GG's. All right, we got a battle against Gore, and they've got a weird looking team. What are you cooking here? Oh, they might lead Masquering with Intimidate. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Okay. It's a little annoying. That Grafai is pretty scary, too. But I kind of just want to leak this. No. Well, actually, no, I kind of do. The only thing that can really get worked on here is the Breloom. But... I don't really have anything that can take care of it. But we'll figure it out. Maybe it doesn't even bring the Breloom. But everything else, this these four can take care of. But the Breloom is going to be a bit of a headache. I do have Terra Blast on my... T-Tar. Flying type. Terror Blast, so could use that if I need to. Nice. It's going to be Ambipom and Grafai. Oh, this thing could Encore me to protect, I think. Tailwind. Gonna protect. Or I could just Home Claws. Yeah, I'm just Home Claws. He might just go for. Fake onto Bombardier, but if he doesn't, we can get a home close off. No, nah, it's gonna be into Bombardier. Oh my goodness. Half HP? In what world? Okay. I'm gonna help you hand Rock Blast. Do I Terror Rock Blast? Yeah, why not? Let's go. This is the Bombardier show. Let's look to get rid of this Ambipom. Hopefully we can land. I really wanted to get that home claw off. I was hoping he was going to fake out my Elamise, but I guess not. Alright, here comes the Helping Hand. Come on, Rock Blast. Gonna encore my Illumice. Yep. Good try, buddy. Good try. Here comes a Rock Blast from the Bombardier. Let's get rid of this thing. Come on. Come on, Bombardier. There's one. I just need four. Come on, Bombardier. Two. I just needed three, buddy. See you later, Abby Palm. Bombardier. Disgusting. Hey, I'll helping him on Bombardier any day of the week. So that was a huge call to go for Helping Hand. Gonna go for Espeon here. 
Do I want to get rid of the Espeon? Can we get rid of the Espeon though? Because Grafai, I don't see it doing too much. I wonder if he protects Espeon, maybe? Eh, shouldn't go off the Espeon. Here comes another helping hand. Ah, oh, he's gonna detect. Okay. Gonna parting shot out of here. Gonna parting shot. Okay. So I can go for the free protect here. I do need to go for a home claws though at one point. How many more turns of on craft two more? Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. I'm gonna go into. Actually, I think I'm just gonna double swap here. Yeah, let's double swap. I feel like he's going to Electro move into Bombardier and a Psychic type move into the Elo My Slot. Both are gonna be not resisted, but it's not gonna do any damage at all. Let's see if we made the 100 IQ rate right here. I feel like we made the 100 IQ rate here. Come on, show me the Electro type move into Escadrill and show me the Psychic type move into Titar. I'm gonna withdraw the Espeon. Okay, so I think he is going to the Electro type move into Escadrill. No, oh, he's gonna Terrasalize. I'm guessing straight electric. Water. You better not have Terror Blast. If you have Terror Blast, we made a zero IQ play. <laughs> he does have Terror Blast into the Escadrill. I don't think we soaked that, right? Nope. Wow. Should have gone for the Protect. But this is fine. This is fine. Is it though? I don't think it's fine. Does this does this thing outspeed us? Jolteon's fast. But how fast? It's fast, fast. Yeah, it outspeeds us. I'm gonna get out my Illumice here. And I'm just gonna can't really protect in front of this thing, man. You know what? I'm going to go for a rock slide and then protect here. Yes, he can encore me, but I'm hoping he's just going to parting shot. Okay. So now he's going to encore that slot. He doubled on Bombardier. That's a huge protect right there. Rockfly's gonna land. How much are we doing? That's a disgusting chunk. That's a huge call there. Do we trust in Bombardier Sucker Punch? I think we do, man. Come on, Bombardier. Let's go, Bombardier. Huge sucker punch right there. Getting rid of that Jolteon. This thing is just going to encore me into, into sucker punch. I'll take it, buddy. You have an Espeon in the back, buddy. Oh, we're making some good reads right here. Rock is going to land on the Grafai. Bye-bye, Grafai. Now it just becomes another 3v1. Hey, we're playing too good with this Bombardier today. Either we're playing too good or Bombardier is just too good. I think it might be Bombardier is just too good. Oh, look at this poor little Espeon. We're going to knock it off. We're going to Sucker Punch it. That should be GG's. How much is Sucker Punch doing? Oh, inches away from getting the KO. We both survive. 
He's gonna die out to Life Orb. <laughs> I'm giving Bombardier that KO. Let's go. GG's. Three straight wins. All right, we got a battle against Inti Churi. And this is a pretty meta team. But nothing my Bombardier can't handle here. I think we go Illumice and Bombardier. Hmm. But the Intimidate is pretty nice here. This one's tough. This one's tough. I think we go Illumice. We definitely go Illumice. I don't know if I like Bombardier in the front, though. I don't need Ensign. Even though it's nice, I don't need it. I kind of need the Flutter Main for the Urshifu. Hmm. This one's tough. You know what? I'm just going to lead Bombardier. And then bring Weather Duel on the back. I'm scared of that Hate Ran. I'm scared of a lot of things here, but I think these four can handle it. Yeah, let's lock those four in. This one's gonna be gonna be kind of tough. Cause you can make your case for Fluttermane and for Ensign. But I think those four are gonna have to do. Shiny little Bickabolt there. Alright, what you leading off with? It's probably gonna be Tornadus. Alongside someone else. Excuse me. Urshifu and Arillaboom. The good thing is it's not a water type Urshifu. So this is actually huge. I can just Tailwind here. And I might want to go for a Home Claws. There's no point in protecting because I think he just fakes out my Bombardier and Wicked Blow into Illumice. So I'm going to try the, the Home Claws. He's going to detect. He's going to detect. That's beautiful. And he's going to fake out the Illumice. Huge. I have a Cover Cloak, buddy. So we get up a Tailwind and we get up a Home Claws. That's, that's, that's massive. That's actually massive. Oh, that's a huge turn one for us. Okay. So, unfortunately, I cannot encore the Urshifu. Would have been nice, but I can't. So, I'm going to encore the Rillaboom. And do I go for Rock Blast onto the Urshifu? It's not really going to do much. I'm gonna just get a Rilla, get rid of Rillaboom, I think. He's gonna withdraw Urshifu. Okay. Oh, that would have been huge. Onto the Tornadus. Oh, that would have been huge. But regardless, we get the Encore off on the Rillaboom. And now we get to rip a Rock Blast. How much are we doing? One chunk. Oh, it's critical here. Okay, so we're not gonna get rid of it. But this Rillaboom is not scary right now. Three. Four. Give me one more. We get four. <laughs> and our real boom is stuck on fake out. Beautiful. So he's probably going to withdraw the real boom. I'm going to infestation that slot and I'm going to go rock blast into the Tornadus. Yes, he'll get his tailwind up. But I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, there's a withdraw on the real boom onto the Urshifu probably. Onto Heat Ran. Okay. And he's gonna Terrasilize this Tornadus. He wants to get another turn with it. Into Steel. Steel type Tornadus. Damn. All 
perfect terror type but he does waste his terror on the tornadoes and we could go for eqs here yeah we're still doing half onto the tornadoes even though it's resisted and we get an infestation off on the heron okay and he's just gonna go for a bleak wind whoa crit on the bombardier you know How many more turns of Tailwind do I have? One. I'm just going to go for a Helping Hand Rock Blast onto the Heat Ren. Maybe we can get rid of the Heat Ren at least. This is going to be neutral. Oh, yeah. Yo, we got three straight crits with, <laughs> with Bombardier on the first hit. That's two. I think we need five. Yeah, we need five. Come on, Bombardier. We just needed four. Let's go, Bombardier. Huge KO on the Heat Ran there. Miss a Bleak Wind. Come on, miss it on miss it on the miss it on both of them. Okay, miss on someone. Who do you miss on? Elamice. Okay, that's fine. Bombardier already did its work. Half HP, two Pokemon, and got rid of the Heat Ran. Tailwind is up. I think I'm gonna come in with T Tar here. That dark type Urshfu is pretty scary. But we have Terra. Come on, give me Titar. I mean, give me um Urshfu. Give me the Ursh, please, please. That's the Urshfu. Okay. Please don't detect. I'm gonna Tailwind. And I'm gonna Terrasilize Terra Blast into the Urshfu. Don't detect, please. Don't detect. I need you not to detect right here. We're making some pretty good plays. I'm not going to lie right here. So we got the Flying Terror on the T-Tar. Oh, he's going to taunt me. Okay. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. No detect, though. And this thing's going to go for a close combat. We soak, thankfully, due to our Terror type. Going to get a minus one in defense. Come on, Titar. Don't be focused, Ash. Please, don't be focused, Ash. Ah, oh, it's focused, Ash. Little boogers, focus, Ash. Oh, but the the sandstorm gets rid of the Earth. Who I forgot. That's huge. So now it's a 2v3. This Tornadus is getting pretty healthy. And now it's just Rillaboom in the back. So I think here he's just going to go for... A Fake Out into... T-Tar and then Bleak Wind. So I'm just going to Infestation... The Rillaboom and then go for a low kick on the Tornadus. Yeah, there's the fake out on the T-Tar. Oh, that did so much damage. Bleak Wind misses on who? On T-Tar. Beautiful. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. It's a little scary, but we should be fine. Yeah, we should be good. I doubt this Rillaboom has Protect. I doubt it has Protect. So here we just go Iron Head onto the Rillaboom. And then Low Kick on the Tornadus. Come on, Escadro. I need you to pick up this KO right here. I need this KO on the Rillaboom. Alright, Iron Head comes out here. How much are we doing? We pick up the KO. Beautiful. Let's go, Escadrill. Now, Bleak Wind is all this thing can do. It's not going to kill anybody. 
Beautiful. T-Tar with a low kick. Gonna bring that thing down from the air. And hopefully pick up the KO. We pick up the KO. That's four for four. Bomb Bird, you're putting some work in the beginning. Picking up a KO on Heatran and tapping Tornadus and Rillaboom. GG's. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Bomb Bird, your team complete. And honestly, Lewis SLV, Bomb Bird was a good, good pick. Bomb Bird, you're putting some big time work in these battles. It was a menace. And then with the combination of T-Tar and Escadrill, this team was unstoppable. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.